Yeah, just have Mr. Traeger call me when he gets back in. Actually, you know what? Don't tell him that I called. Just when he gets there, can you text me and tell me he's back? You know what? Let's just pretend this didn't happen, okay? This is Jerry Gergish calling, bye. I have to tell you a secret, but if you tell anyone, I will kill you slowly with a giant syringe. Good morning, April. What's your secret? I'm thinking about applying to veterinary school in Bloomington. <gasps> oh my God, April, that's great. Whoa, where'd you get that? The internet. So I really need a letter of recommendation, and since you work in a hospital as a janitor. Nurse. I was wondering if maybe you would write one for me. Really? Generally, between us, April always has the upper hand. And that hand is usually giving me the finger or pouring honey in my purse. But now I have the upper hand, and I'm going to use it to crush her into being nice to me. I would be happy to write you that letter. I actually know the guy who runs the veterinary program over there. Because you hooked up with him? I don't hook up with everyone I know. Although, yes, we did hook up. But before I write you that letter, you have to spend the next week with me and do everything I say. So I have to be your slave or something? No, you have to be my friend. No, that is so much worse. Don't do that. I guess it would have to be Channing Tatum's body, Ryan Gosling's face, and Michael Fassbender's sense of humor. What about you? Build your perfect guy. Um, Yao Ming's torso, Napoleon's brain, and the hunchback of Notre Dame's hunchback. Do you like my nails? Even though she hides it underneath layers of sarcasm, resentment, and grumpiness, I know deep down somewhere, April likes me. I'm kind of just fracking for friendship. <sighs> okay, you have to choose one. I can't think. These braids you did are making my brain hurt. Fine, Miranda. No, I think you're a Charlotte. You're like a scary Charlotte. <sighs> hey. Hey, what's, what's up? Nothing. This is weird. No, it's yeah, it not. Is. Why is it weird? It's not weird. Do you want to uh, talk in private? No, anything you can say to Anne, you can say to me because we're best friends this week. W w can we talk later? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you talk now? I no, talk to you later. Chris, we can talk now. What's going on, best friend? Nothing, never mind. Tell Nothing's me. happening. Back to forced friendship. Hey, let's go put on our PJs and make white Russians. So fun. Okay, are you ready? For you to tell me what's going on with Chris? Yes. No, to sing. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time, go. No, tell me about Chris. If you fall, I will catch you, I'll be waiting. Tell me about Chris or I'm leaving and I don't care about the letter. I want to have a baby and I asked Chris to donate his sperm and he's taking a really long time to make up his mind and it's really freaking me out. And I can't stop thinking about it and I'm obsessing about it and I want to think about anything else but that, but it's making me crazy. Secrets stolen from deep inside. You know the song already? Of course I do. Everyone knows the song. It's amazing. The drum beats out of time. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I'll be waiting time after time, time after time. Time after time. Good stuff. It's never happened. Here is your letter of recommendation, so you're off the hook. No need to pretend to be my friend anymore. Thank God. I can't tell if you actually hate me or if this is just how you are, but I had fun hanging out with you. So I don't care what you say, you're my friend. And I hope you get into veterinary school because I like you, so there. I got you something, too. Baby naming book. I hope it works out with Chris. And if it doesn't, I hope it works out with someone. We're gonna hug now. Oh. Yeah. Ow, you're hurting me. Mm -hmm.